Hi guys, welcome to Getmatic. In this lecture, we will see how to tackle the doubly core subject that is DC machine. So let's get started. So before starting the DC machine, I am considering that you have already completed network according to the plan given by me and you have already completed transformer from NPTEL okay some of you have already mailed me our the usn of transformer so what i conclude that when you were studying network so total 200 students were curious about the self-study plan and they have sent me the usn but after completing transformer only 40 students sent me the usn ultra short notes that itself indicates that 160 students left the strategy in between that means they will not get rank why because they are not following whatever they are trying to do so for them i would like to say those 160 students what you can do you can go through any coaching institute join coaching institute because self-study is not made for you why i am telling you because self-study requires motivation dedication and proper planning you have to set the deadline for completing each subject now if you are doing self-study then these three you have to do by your own okay but if you will join coaching institute and you will pay 60 to 70 k rupees then definitely these three things you can easily include in your routine because after paying this much huge amount of money you wake up in the morning you will go to the coaching you will study there uh, for six hours you come to home and revise that concept which is taught in the coaching and you can solve the numerical because you have spent 60 to 70 thousand rupees got it now what is happening here here i am giving you the free plan okay so that much motivation dedication and proper planning you are not doing because you haven't spent some amount of for the uh, for these things okay so that's why you didn't able to complete the second module that is the transformer now i am talking about those 40 students who have already sent me the usn they can follow the next strategy so let's start now i am considering that these 40 students have already completed network theory and transformer and i have given you the time for uh, solving numerical of network so i am considering that you are expert in network and for solving the transformer question i have not given you the time because up to 18 march you made the usn okay now i am going to give you how to proceed further okay so you have completed transformer and if you'll go through the all the previous year question then i can guarantee you that you can be able to solve 80 percent of previous year gate question by studying from the nptl lecture for rest 20 percent don't worry about that i will give you the separate lecture for that and i will include in that playlist in which nptl lecture is already included you have gone through the mode one lecture 01 to mode 1 lecture 17 this is the transformer nptl transformer lecture okay now i will make the video with name mode 2 lecture 1 okay and it will continue and i will include some important points which you have to keep in mind in order to solve all the previous year gate question in this way your whole transformer model will be completed okay now let us proceed for the dc machines how to tackle the dc machine so first you have to know about the introduction part that is how the machine rotates means basic principle of rotating machine in which you have to know about the flaming left hand rule and flaming right hand rule okay then you have to move to the construction part there in construction part you have to know about the stator stator part okay and second is the rotor part so a stator part you will study in detail about the yoke pole pole shoe these all things and in rotor part you have to know about the types of winding winding in dc machine there are two types of winding that is lap winding and wave winding okay so you have to know about these things and how many parallel path in lap winding and how many parallel path in wave winding from where to study i will let you know third point is emf 
EMF equation and torque equation. This is very 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 important. What is the EMF equation in DC machine? E is equal to N phi Z upon 60 into P by A. And what is torque equation? Torque equation is torque into omega is equal to E into I A. So torque will be equal to E into I A upon omega where omega is the speed of DC machine in radian per second this is the torque which can be denoted as k phi i a so these two equation are very very important in dc machine if you know these two equation then you can easily solve 50 to 60 percent previous year questions from this dc machine okay now let us talk about the types of dc machine there are two types of dc machine one is the separately excited dc machine okay and second one is the self excited dc machine in separately excited dc machine the field winding is connected by separate source means flux will remain constant in separately excited dc machine unless and until we are changing the voltage okay in self excited dc machine again it is of three types first one is the shunt machine second is series machine and third one is the compound machine Fifth point is power flow. In what way power is flowing in DC machine? If I am saying DC machine, that means I am talking about both motor as well as generator. So you have to know the concept of power flow, how the power flow in motor as well as how the power flow in generator. And you have to know about the maximum efficiency condition when the motor will give the maximum efficiency. These things you have to study. Now the sixth point is armature reaction. This is very, very important. What is armature reaction? The distortion of flux due to current produced in the armature is known as armature reaction. Okay, so these armature reaction you have to study in detail. Why armature reaction? Okay, what are the causes of armature reaction? And what are the remedies to overcome this armature reaction? Got it? So these things you have to study. Seventh point is commutation. Why commutation is done? If you will see the flux of flux produced in the rotor then that flux is alternating in nature means the current produced in the rotor will be alternating in nature so in and we know that the output of dc generator must be dc so that current will become unidirectional if we will attach commutator on the shaft so purpose of commutator is to produce a unidirectional current at the output terminal that is the commutator so you have to study all the concept regarding commutation and also you have to know about the effect of commutation and what are the remedies okay eighth and ninth point mostly the question is framed from these eighth and ninth point that is dc generator characteristics and dc motor characteristics you have to see the different graph between voltage and field current voltage and load current output voltage and output load current of different generator like shunt generator series generator or compound generator similarly we can see for the dc motor characteristics as well so these all things you have to know in dc machine see the next point that is speed control of dc machine this is based on only on one equation that is omega is equal to vt upon k phi minus rat upon k phi square okay and with the help of this equation you can make easily the speed torque characteristics okay so there are three way to control the speed of dc motor first is by varying the flux by changing the voltage second and by changing the internal resistance by putting some external resistance in series with the armature if you will change vt internal resistance and flux then consequently the speed will change so this equation is very very important while studying speed control of DC machine. Now 11th point is starting of DC machine. This is not much important from gate point of view but from ES point of view you can uh, you can study the 3 point starter and 4 point starter why starting is done. Why any starter is required you have to study those things but from gate point of view it is not mandatory to study but still you should study in order to learn the concept. Now the 12 point is breaking of DC machine. Three types of uh, three types of breaking is done. That is regenerative breaking. Second is the dynamic breaking, and third one is the plugging. Okay. In regenerative breaking, the motor works on the generating mode. That means 
emf of that motor will be greater than the supply voltage means all the energy present in this will fed back to the supply that is known as the regenerative braking you will study in detail in dynamic braking what we do we connect we disconnect the supply and we put some external resistance so that the kinetic energy stored in motor is get dissipated across that external resistor and after some time the motor will stop and come at zero speed now the third is the plugging what in plugging plugging what we do we do not disconnect the supply what we do we reverse the terminal voltage of that motor okay so if you will reverse the terminal voltage of that motor then the speed of the motor will decrease comes to zero and it will rotate in opposite direction the moment when speed becomes zero we disconnect the supply so in this way we can break the dc motor in three methods so these three methods you have to study now from where you will study these things again i have created a playlist in our gatematic education youtube channel you can go through the dc machine playlist you will get 13 videos okay 13 videos that is the nptel videos of professor d kasta sir and that 13 videos include all this topic from 1 to 12 you will get all this topic but you won't able to solve some of the problems of dc machine okay so for that i will make a separate video don't worry about that but first uh, complete these 13 videos you will get a nptel handwritten notes from my blog and again you have to do the same thing which you did in transformer means download nptl handwritten notes take a printout watch these 13 videos that is included in our playlist and after that make ultra short notes and send it to me so those 40 students who are following this strategy they can go through this topic by watching nptel videos after completing these 13 videos you will be able to solve 80 percent of gate question previous year gate question okay that has been asked in previous year gate exam for rest 20 percent i will provide you the videos uh, after watching that videos you can be able to solve all the questions related to dc machine so i am considering that uh, today is i think 19 march okay so i am considering that from 20 march you will start watching these 13 videos okay so there are total 13 videos available in our playlist that covers 80 percent of the entire syllabus i am considering that you can be able to complete this uh, 13 videos in five days means 20 march to 24th march you can be able to complete this dc machine video okay again after completing all the 13 videos till 24th march what you have to do you have to make ultra short notes 25th to 26th march you have to make usn okay and you have to send one page of usn to gatematic education at the red gmail.com only you have to send only one page so that i will have a general idea uh, how many students are following this strategy if i am getting uh, around 40 to 50 uh, usn then i will continue with this strategy if i am not getting then there is no need to uh, make another video you can follow your own strategy and you can uh, and you can solve all the uh, questions related to that okay now uh, there is certain things which you have to keep in mind that is the revision process this is very very important you are studying you are continuing all the lectures but you are not revising means it is worthless like you have completed network theory you have completed transformer so what you can do give per day two hours of revision two hours of revision is very necessary so uh, take one day network take one day another day transformer and revise all the concept that uh, that you have studied in nptl okay and in between these i will include some of the uh, videos of transformer as well as dc machine which will help you in solving all the previous year questions so what is the conclusion conclusion is first download nptl handwritten notes from my blog okay take a printout then watch these three these 13 videos and after completing these videos make usn same as transformer and send a mail one page of usn to me so that i will have a rough idea how many student are following this strategy okay and also you have to include the revision process now means you have to give two hours per day you have to revise all the concept that you have already studied for two hours means take uh, one day a network take another day transformer and revise each and every concept also solve 20 to 30 numericals 
from this subject okay so complete this module and in between these i will upload some of the transformer uh, video that is mod 2 lecture 01 I will upload this you should watch these transformer videos in order to solve all the previous year gate problem this video is not based on concept you have already studied NPTEL videos in order to build the concept right now you have to apply that concept in uh, solving the numerical so I will include some of the important numerical in these videos so that overall you would be able to complete the transformer module got it so that's all about this lecture see you in the next lecture